what a joy and an honor it is to be speaking to you, Voyager's current family, on the 45th anniversary of the launch of the two Voyagers. I've been thinking about Voyager for those 45 years, and so it'll be difficult to compress all of the thoughts and feelings I have about this epic mission of exploration. I know that you're familiar with its many discoveries, its first reconnaissance of the outer solar system, the volcanoes and moons and subterranean oceans and all of its many discoveries, including the shape of our own solar system as it moves through the Milky Way. What a series of enormous achievements for one mission. And to think that all of it was accomplished a mere 20 years after the launch of Sputnik, humanity's first, first craft that was ever launched into space. I think of the genius of the Voyager engineers and how I wish that it would be celebrated, their genius, so that all of our kids and grandkids could know what genius was behind this amazing achievement. Voyager gives me hope in this time when we are so concerned about our future and the consequences, the long-term consequences for the next generations of our science and high technology. Voyager is that rare example of scientific and technological genius, which to my knowledge has hurt no one, done on behalf of the whole human species with its discoveries shared immediately with everyone on earth. It is that rare confluence, that crossroads of our scientific and technological, mathematical engineering genius, but also our art, our culture, the music of our species. It's, wonder, it's a source of wonder to me that, that 45 years later, we can look at the contents of the Voyager record and not have to cringe over its failure to include all of us on this planet. Not have to feel that sense of shame about our anthropocentrism and our inability to respect and to cherish all the other life forms on this planet. Those of us involved in the making of the Voyager record, led by the great Carl Sagan and the great Frank Drake, wanted to include all of the beautiful life on this planet so that it could speak for us, perhaps even some five billion years from now, a longer period than the whole history of life, the whole tenure of life on this planet. Voyager is hopeful because it says that we can use our cleverness to achieve great things without doing it at the cost of the other life with whom we share this planet. So I just want to close by saying that I can't help but think of Voyager's earlier family, and most especially Carl Sagan, who embodied those same values that I think Voyager does, and all the rest of the men and women who have made Voyager the epic achievement that will speak for us, perhaps even beyond the time that our species and our planet can speak for itself. Congratulations. Go, Voyager, go.